In this video, I will show you how you're going to install uh, Octave, which is a free software that is an equivalent of MATLAB with all the features that MATLAB has, but it's open source and it's completely free. So um, I, you can search for um, Octave uh, for Windows on, on Google. If you do an Octave for Windows, uh, you will you will find um, the GNU website which is this website here you can uh, you can click either of these I doesn't really matter um, if you click the second one you'll get to the download button the download button um, will take you to this page which says Windows so I am um, you it's up to you which one you want to install I installed this ver version here that is the Windows 64 recommended. Um, the version I'm installing is uh, is an installer rather than a zip file. So just uh, click on this, download it, and in the next um, next we'll sh see how um, the installation itself uh, happens. We can install Octave. I'm gonna accept all the licenses and. I'm going to install wherever it asks me to. So I'm just going to use the default locations and we'll let it run. And so once it finishes installing, you should um, see the screen that says completing GNU Octave setup and it uh, gives you an option to run it. So I'm going to say finish and uh, let's go through the motions it says uh, allow octave to connect to the website you don't really need to so i'm just gonna just do the default options um, that's fine just go ahead and say it's fine with all those options so you will have a uh, once this is all done, you should see a running octave. So I'm just going to make this full screen and let's pause here. Okay, we're running octave for the first time. Um, octave has the simple interface where you can use a file browser to go to a particular directory. Um, I like to use the command window. Um, because it's simple and easy to go to wherever you want and so if you do a pwd that will tell you where your working directory is that's usually your home directory on windows so um, all of you probably put your uh, uh, kyle in the c um, c drive so i'm gonna say cd c colon uh, kyle uh, some of you probably call it kyle 5 doesn't matter what you call it so it should you should go there alternatively you could use the browser here and you can just I'll go one step this way also to show you um, I put um, this particular project is in a pro in a folder called wave play so I'm gonna go there so if I were to do now that I moved there if I do a PWD it'll tell me I'm in that folder so I created a folder here called sounds um, and I'm gonna um, play around with a couple of sounds here. Um, I, uh, if you look at the listing here, there are a few files here. If you see where I got these from, so there are these files. They're all wave files. Um, I like to get my uh, game art from a from um, to make sure that they're open source and I don't have to worry about any licensing. Um, there is a website that I like to get my stuff from. Um, it is um, it's a site called open art open game art dot org um, I kind of browsed through and I found this uh, uh, neat little um, um, collection of sounds uh, this uh, if you want to know how I went came here I just went through uh, music and I said I uh, saw something here that looked interesting. I believe it was uh, called um, 
maybe I did sound effects also I added actually I went to sound effects uh, in sound effects there was a projectile um, uh, projectile launches so I clicked on this uh, and which took me to this page and there is a uh, there is a, a compressed file here called launches.7z um, 7zip is is a is a again a pub uh, is an open source uh, format to compress as opposed to zip uh, so if you don't have 7zip you can download it i downloaded this file extracted the files that came out of it um, using the 7zip utility so i went to my downloads after i uh, downloaded it um, I believe I and then I extracted them into my wave play sounds folder um, so if you don't have 7-zip uh, you can you can download it it is a, it is a free software uh, so what I also did was I went to the class website uh, which is uh, and downloaded so if you go to e319k volume one site you will find um, uh, you will find a link uh, in lab materials there's a link to uh, a script which is a matlab script which is all which also runs in octave i downloaded this and i put it in the same folder where i put all my sounds um, so what i'm going to do now is uh, go into my octave and i'm going to run um, so i'm gonna um you can actually edit this file if you want the the uh the matlab file view it so it'll open in this um there's three tabs uh four tabs here one is one says documentation editor command window i you were we were using command window as soon as i double clicked on this it opened it in the editor so this is the editor if you want to modify it you're welcome to do whatever you want with it and one of the things it, it tells you here is to run it using WC file name followed by precision and the file name is given in quotes without the extension. The assumption is that it's a dot wave file. Um, so I don't need the extension, but the precision is whether you have a four bit DAC or a, or a six bit DAC that will change what number you give there. So I'm going to run it and uh, we'll notice something interesting happen here. So I'm going to run. Uh, I'm going to uh, convert this f launch um, dot wave. So this is an f launch dot wave. So I'm just going to say f launch and I'm going to say I want a four bit tag. So if I do that, um, as it turns out, this is going to fail because I don't, I, I, if you just downloaded it, you don't have a signal processing software. So I'm going to run it anyway and it's going to, um, it's going to go on for a little while trying to figure out what's wrong. It won't it won't run. But there is a note in the in the script here that says uh, you will need to load a signal package first to use a decimate function. There's a decimate function that I'm using here um, that's not available in the default installation of Octave. So you need to run the package, uh, which is the signal processing package. So I'm going to cut this from here, go into my command window uh, it would have failed by now so I'm gonna uh, paste it here and I'm gonna run this package load signal now the signal um, processing package should be should be loaded and now I should be able to run the launch again and now in a fraction of time I get a file and the file I get is a flaunch.txt you can just double click on that um, it'll open this file here you can just take the whole file, which is actually, it's a one long um, C declaration of an unsigned car F launch. It has 6204 samples in it. And because I asked for a four bit sample, it's gonna have numbers between zero and 15. So that's the, that's the C declaration. I'm gonna cut it from here. And next thing I'll show you is, I'm gonna put this into my project and we're gonna, uh, play this uh, play this sound in um, in our our project uh, using a DAC.